a very long time after that. What was kind of running through your mind as you were sitting there? Lots of different things. Um, just reflect on the game. What did you, what did you, what, when you reflected, what kind of jumped out the most? Mm, you know, we had our opportunities. Didn't take advantage of them. Uh, they made plays down the stretch. Can you take us through the interception? Yeah, it was man to man. I had Jamon a slant and uh, took a shot. Um, you know, I'm, he made a really good play. I'm not sure. I would have made any any other decision than that. Uh, credit to him, honestly. Jamar took blame for that after the game, Joe. He just said he ran a really crappy route. Your, your thoughts on if Jamar was where you expected him to be when you let go of the ball? You know, Marlon, Marlon's a great player. Uh, you know, we made plays, they made plays. Uh, so that's, that's a credit to him. You know, he's... He's a smart, savvy player, knows what we're trying to do in that situation, and uh, uh, played it perfect. I find the overtime, the overtime after you guys recovered the fumble, would you have liked to have had a chance to throw a pass or two on that drive? Mm, I mean, as good as their rush is, you always take a chance at getting sacked in that situation. We were in field goal range. Uh, you know, they made a kick down the stretch, and we didn't. Zach said you checked out of the pass. It wasn't a good look for the one we had called. I know you guys are executing at a high level on offense and you're putting up the points week after week, but when you're at one and four, do you feel like at some point you guys need some sort of change in your week to week preparation to be able to finish some of these games, get your season going the way you need it? We just have to make plays down the stretch. We're playing really well on offense. Um, you know, I don't know what the what the league stats are, but we're one and four. That's that's not where we want to be. Um, so obviously something has to change. You know, I'm I'm not sure what that is on our end. We'll uh, we'll do some critical thinking, watch the tape, and see where we could have done better. There's plenty to improve on. That's uh, that's no secret. Um, so we'll treat it just like any other week. Come back. Get better. Well, I guess to that point, obviously you can't play defense. So, do you guys, as an offense, view this as the way that you're playing? You're going to have to keep scoring as many points as you are to be able to give your guys a chance, yourself a chance to win each game. We're going to have to do more. We're going to have to do whatever it takes to win. And uh, you know, so forth, so far, three out of four games, we haven't done enough. So, uh, you know, I'll put that on me. I'll put that on on us to to go and finish finish it when we get our opportunities to. How, how sustainable is that, though, for a championship level team to play with that little of a margin to be able to play basically better than what y'all currently play offensively? We're not a championship level team right now. We're not. Uh, you know, I I like to think that, you know, we'll come back and improve throughout the season to, to get to that point. But right now we are not, and we have to get better. Is it frustrating that you're five weeks in, still not at that level that you all thought it might be going into the season? Yes. How can you help the defense? I know, obviously, you can't physically help them, but from a leadership standpoint, some of the guys, can you can you help them along that way? How can you help the defense? Yeah, they made plays today. Um, you know, they made, they came up, we got a safety, big-time play. They played really well in that ha that first half. Uh, and, you know, we, we missed some opportunities in that first half. You know, we got it rolling on offense eventually, but so did they. And, uh, you know, guys on defense made plays today. Uh, I'm sure that there's ones that they want back, just like there's ones that I want back. Uh, and so we'll come back and improve. The drive right before overtime, you get it back with like a minute 30 left. Is it just the sack puts you behind the chains and puts you in a tough spot? Yeah, sack puts you behind the chains. Um, then if you, I forget what it was, it was a, you know, I stepped up in the pocket and, and threw on a T that we didn't connect on. And then it was third and 17. 17. So they didn't have any timeouts. You got you got to run it there and just play for overtime. At that point, the odds of getting a third and 17 are, are slim to none. Um, and you don't want to give it back to them with, it would have been probably, you know, 
four, 35, 40 seconds at that point, just needing a field goal to win. So, um, you know, the sack hurt. They they played that concept that we had really well. You know, there was not, not really anywhere for me to, to go with the ball quickly. Uh, you know, that's a really, really good defense. They made it hard on me all day. Um, you know, we made plays, but uh, it was – there damn sure wasn't anything easy out there. Do you understand Zach's feeling when you go on the field at 38, their 38, to start over when you get the ball in overtime, not to take chances and lose yardage there? Do you understand that philosophy? Or I do. Would you have rather been more aggressive? <laughs> you know, I'm not going to second guess that. We were, we were in field goal range. Uh, you know, we go into every week and – on game day, understanding field goal range on each side of the field. And um, yeah, you want to get some yards to make it easier on them. But also that defense is really good and makes negative plays happen all the time. So if you know you drop back and, and get sacked or sack fumble, they have a really good rush. Uh, you know, I'm not going to second guess that one. We had a shot to win it. And we didn't take advantage of it. So you had said during the week that you, know, you thought you had to play near perfect today, and then you go for almost 400 yards, five touchdowns, first time in your career you do that, and then the interception. Do you think, I mean, you can play even better than how you were playing today? Yeah, there's always room to, to improve. By, by no means was it perfect. Um, that's always what I'm striving for. You know, I, my, my statement rang true today. You know, I was... Uh, perfect was what was needed, and that's not what we did. What's going to be when I'm playing in a game like that? It's just up and down. Bailey, you get back in the sideline, and he's, he's doing his thing. You're doing the same thing again. What's, what's it like to be in a game like that? Yeah, that's, I, knew, I knew what it was going to take. You know, when, by no means did I ever think we had the game won, that's for sure. I was, uh, I was just letting all the guys know that we were going to have to go do it again. Um, didn't get the job done today. The ball at the end of the half, uh, the ball at the end of the half, uh, you know, did you matter? Did that surprise you? Know, did uh, how did that happen? I mean, that's probably the last thing they wanted to happen. Yeah, I mean, how many, I'm not sure how many seconds were left when we got it back. 58, we had three timeouts, so, um, you know, you love to score a touchdown in, in that situation, but I, you know, that's, the odds of that aren't high. So we, you know, I was playing for, for field goal, really. Um, you know, we step up, make a throw to Jamar, get us to around the 50, and then, you know, we got the coverage that we wanted for that shot, and, you know, we were able to, we were able to, to connect on that one. So that was a big play in the game. Did the offense feel like a flow like it was maybe that Baltimore Kansas City game in 21? Did the offense feel like it did in some of those games where you all had those big offense performances? Yeah, I mean, the, that was – that was one of those games where we were making plays. Uh, guys on the outside making plays. We were breaking tackles. We were making uh, runs after the catch. Um, but like I said, it was hard out there. Those guys make it really tough. They're tough, physical, good rush. They understand what they're doing in the secondary. They're matching coverages. So uh, at the end of the day, we made plays, uh, but they made several plays as well. That, that means, given the degree of difficulty, do you feel like this is the best offensive game you'll have since you've been here? I wouldn't go, I'm not going to go that far. We didn't do enough to win the game, but um, I'm happy with how we played today. Shows, is there almost kind of a feeling of disbelief at one and four? Like every game, you guys have made a lot of those plays to win back and be able to totally finish. You kind of think in disbelief of how are we one and four? Is that kind of where your head's at right now? No, I know exactly how we're one and four. You know, we're not making the plays at the end of the game to go and win it. Um, Definitely not disbelief. I know exactly what's happened. Well, to that point, when a season like this has gone the way it is, a lot of questions will be asked about the preparation. So do you feel like it's a player to coach there's not the accountability, or do you feel like it's on you guys as as players? Do you feel like there's enough accountability from the coaching staff to the players right now? There's been tough conversations had. Uh, you know, I think our coaches are handling it the right way. And, you know, whenever you're one and four and whenever you're in this situation, there's going to be tough conversations to be had that guys aren't going to like. Um, and those conversations have been had. 
so I'm, I'm happy with how we're going about it. We obviously have to win more. You know, that's no secret, but um, I think people are handling it the right way. Why do you think you guys are having so much problems finishing games? I know there's probably a lot of reasons each game, but do you feel like there's a common thread to why you guys have struggled to finish some of these games this year? It's been different every game. Um, you know, at the at the end of the day, I put it on me to go out and make the plays at the end of the game to to win it. Uh, and today, in three out of four games, we haven't. So um, I'm going to look within myself to to try and do more, to uh, give more of myself to go out and make those plays to, to win the game. So uh, we'll go from there. You have five drives of 70 yards or more. One of them was a one-play drive. But, I mean, five drives of 70 yards or more against that defense, that, that's tough to do. I mean... How well did you play offense? Played really well. Uh, by no means was it perfect. You know, we left some out there. Like, uh, you know, typically when you have offensive games like that, there's you always feel like you could have done more. That's how I always feel coming out of every game, no matter how you play. Um, so, like I said, we'll watch the tape, improve, and, and come back tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks.